Hey everyone, welcome to the final episode. I didn't even, honestly, when I caught up uh, the day before yesterday to Seven Deadly Sins, I didn't think that this was going to be the final episode. I could have swore it was 25 or 26 episodes, but it is what it is. So we're here at the season finale of season three. And before I jump into it, I just do want to like give my own opinion of season three as a whole. Um, I am... Obviously, I really like, I really do like Seven Deadly Sins. I just don't know how... Like, I know what happened. I just still can't fathom that a series that is on, honestly more popular than ever because of uh, Seven Deadly Sins Grand Cross, obviously, if you're playing it. But that community is growing. Everyone's talking about it like the best gotcha game out right now. Global, JP, whatever. Seven Deadly Sins is in, like, high demand right now. And it's so weird that an anime that is on the rise like this got so like just treated like this and like the staff and everything like I, it, it's very disappointing because obviously like season one and two of seven deadly sins and even, and even the four like episodes in between one and two great animation are everything was on point i just it, it's just it's just so baffling to me how like and like whatever happened and they just put the gun to that and just on seven deadly sins the anime um, I hope in the future we do get a remake of at least the last two seasons because unfortunately if you don't know I don't know if I'll react to the trailer or or not but we'll see if I react to it, I'll probably react to it in the same video or make a separate video I don't know but they're they already announced season four if you didn't watch the ending of my last reaction I mentioned this that they already announced the season like this for the final season of seven deadly sins uh, and it's gonna cover the rest of the manga and stuff it's gonna be like 24 25 episodes again but that comes out in the fall now anime production is not is not fast and it's not it's not it's not it's not good that's that's all i can say and the fact that it's getting already like greenlit and it's coming this like the same year that this season's ending is not a good sign at least for an anime it should take at least a year or a year and a half before the next season comes out um key example jojo part five ended last summer uh still no announcement of part six even so if they announce part six for this fall or next spring that's a that's a great space and great time uh same thing for my hero even though this season of my hero animation art wise wasn't necessarily the best either it was it's still leagues and bounds above seven deadly sins but that one at least had time as well but it also had a movie going on so it's kind of acceptable but man, it, it's just it's just really disappointing because I really do love Seven Deadly Sins, and it's so, it's sad to see, in my opinion, a really good series just kind of get like put in the back burner for shit that happens. But with all that being said, I really did enjoy this season. I like I like the story. Uh, it is what it is. Regardless of animation art, the story is still there, and I pretty much for the most part liked it, and I enjoyed it personally. So with all that being said, let's jump into the final reaction for Seven Deadly Sins this season. I was per usual lower the video, lower the audio to weigh copyright strikes, and let's jump into it. One thing I always give though, the soundtrack for this season and the Seven Deadly Sins in general is always fantastic. And we got a young Esterosa too. Man, the soundtrack is hitting. And everyone loves Elizabeth. Oh. Okay. I can kind of see where he's coming from. Imagine like being in love with someone since you were a kid or whatever. And then all of a sudden your freaking brother just swoops in. Obviously he didn't do it to spite. Um... Estorosa, but like he just comes in and, he, and they just happen to fall in love like that's that's a jab to the heart and that that does suck um also was the height thing weird there because like Meliodas is always like shorter than everyone else but he was like same height as Elizabeth <clears throat> this episode is called rampaging love so it's only a Man, Estoros is he's already crazy. So <laughs> Oh, what the heck? Meliodas is like inside like a cocoon. Ew, he looks weird. He looks like a crackhead. Let's be honest, Guila, what are you gonna do against that? 
Ooh, that that's a cool shot. Him just blacked out, but you can see like the red eye like streaking through the, the fire. But everyone's like ever since last episode, everyone's just pulling out powers out of nowhere that I didn't know what they had. She I thought she, I legit thought she Guila got cut in half. Jesus, he like opened her up. Oh my god. Estorosa is completely broken, bro. His mind is just destroyed. Doesn't even know who he is. Bro, that's even more messed up. The fact that the fact that she like he's telling her how he feels. And like she knows this, right? I mean, she can't be that dumb. Well, I mean, well, well then again, but uh, like it, all, but all she can think of is Meliodas. Even though this dude's like, yeah, like you guys supported me, but like you never like looked at me like that, this and that. And he's just, she's just like, Meliodas, I need to see you again. <laughs> like, poor guy, man. That's also just like the ultimate cuck at this point, bro. <laughs> Poor guy. Bro, what? That reminds me of like the, the Getsuga 10 show, the Holified one, the Bankai version. He changed the entire terrain's like environment. Okay, but this pow this power is absolutely no joke. He's literally launching like enough power to go through mountains. At least defend yourself, Elizabeth. Like, you're trying to help her, but it, like you're just standing around getting captured. I was about to ask where Daddy Eddie was, but damn, she, I didn't even realize she just got knocked out to the side already. And she healed everyone at the same time, Jesus. Wow. Wait. I don't know how I feel. Not gonna lie, I thought Sadiel was like a dude, especially because of the voice. It, it, it to me, it didn't scream little girl, scream like little boy. But. Oh man, of course, of course, she's like, she forced her body to grow up on some freaking Hunter Hunter stuff. These two archangels are are they're they're all right to me. I like them. They seem they have a much stronger sense of duty and honor than uh Ludacio. Man, I would have gave a, Liz a freaking Elizabeth. I would have gave Deanna at least a goodbye kiss, man. You never know. It's a war. Oh, geez. So he she, he can create a freaking a shield that can penetrate even that like dense of darkness. That's crazy. Like this is literally the Demon King's birth. Is it is that my boy? It's been like ten episodes. It's my boy, bro. Okay, not gonna lie, the long hair and beard really looks cool on a uh, bun. I wonder. Oh man, I wonder how many like lifetimes he like felt. As he's traveling. Is that what's gonna end? Freaking Meliodas in the time chamber? Or like the recuperation chamber? 
Is there a tease for like next? There, yeah, there it is. Okay, there is something afterwards. I was about to say. What? Oh, this is where Bond is at. My bad. I almost forgot. Cause I'm just like, what happened? Oh. Oh, that's cool. That's such a cool ending. So he woke up inside purgatory and it seems like, you know, he's... So that's his true form. Like, you know, whatever. The, the one that we all know. The, the, the good one. So, wow, okay. That was... A lot of things are happening. Like, it's so weird to leave off on such a massive cliffhanger. Where, like, like, it's because, like, obviously this ended in the middle of, like, a giant, like, basically this ended, like, in the beginning of the final arc is what I'm assuming, um, or what I've been told. Um, but overall, like, this, overall, the episode in general was, was good. I like that it's the sense of finale. We at least got some insight into other characters and what they're doing, because we haven't seen Bond since he left, which is, like, what, like, five to, like, ten episodes ago? So Bond's been gone for a hot minute. He's my favorite character. So he looks awesome with the beard and everything. So that looks cool. He's on his way to save Meliodas. Uh, Askinor, Merlin, Ludacy, they're all about to they're infiltrating Zeldris in that domain. Which I wonder how Escanor is going to be in that situation because there is no sunlight in there. Unless Merlin can do like a... Can pull Vegeta and like make a fake sun or whatever. You know, we'll see. Um... Then you have the stuff with Estorosa and like, and Elizabeth and like him going crazy, like lots of things happening. Honestly, I still can't wait for the season. I'm probably gonna read the manga, not, not past this part, but I'm probably gonna read the manga of this arc or this section of the, of the where the season three uh, took place because I wanna see how the manga adapted everything and like how it was in the manga because I'm very interested to see um, but overall, like I said, like I said at the beginning of the video, I already gave my like review of season three. Overall, we all know it's not the best in terms of animation or we all know the situation that happened. So it's not entirely the crew's fault. So I can't blame them for what we got. But what we did get was uh, a couple, a couple very enjoyable scenes. The story was still intact to me. Uh, but season four is, is looks like it's going to be more of the same. So it, it's, it is what it is there, uh, which is unfortunate, but can't help but uh, you know do watch what they give us so it is what it is so with all that being said i hope you guys enjoyed my reactions to seven deadly sins uh, i'm gonna finish up castlevania this week uh so look forward to that and i just purchased resident evil 3 so you know you we already know where we're about so with all that being said i hope you guys enjoyed make sure you leave a like comment subscribe for me share the video if you enjoyed and i'll see you all in the next one bye guys